Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke, filling in for Michelle Davis on the fourth Thursday of every month, talking about business and how to be successful here in Las Vegas. And of course, one of the things we always talk about is business is great, making money is great. We love that here, but we also want to use our businesses to help make our communities a better place. And my next guest is Sonny Shabro from the Douglas J. Green Memorial Foundation. Did I get it all right? You got it right. All right, great. Sunny is a gold star mom and founder of the, the foundation, the Douglas J. Green Memorial Foundation, and it's a volunteer nonprofit dedicated to providing comfort and support to service members and their families. Um, and we're going to talk about the great things you do for our folks up at Nellis and our Garden Reserve guys and even the, the families and spouses in the area. Right. But before we get into that, you named this foundation for your son, Doug, and I want to... I want you to tell us about Doug and how we got to having this foundation today. Sure. Well, um, again, my name is Sunny. I'm a Gold Star mom, and not everybody out there knows what that is, but it's someone that if you have a son or a daughter who's been killed in action, and um, unfortunately that's what happened to my son, Doug, in August 28, 2011, um, right after he was killed, um, I decided to start a nonprofit organization after him, and I thought there was no better way to honor him was to do something that he loved. And what he loved was getting care packages sent to him on each tour that he was on. And every time he was on tour, he would say, Mom, I need this, I need that, I need this, and I need that. And I would have no problem sending him and his other brothers and sisters that he was deployed with as well. So I was sending him up to 10 to 15 boxes a week. And he loved them so much. And so starting the nonprofit and actually taking care of the other men and women that are still deployed is no better way to honor him. And um, so his actually his anniversary of um, being killed in action is this month. It's actually next week, August 28th. And so um, I just enjoy doing it. And the men and women that are over there right now deployed, especially from this area, appreciate it so much. And I can tell you from my time in Iraq uh, that coming in and having a care package in my little area, you know, even if it wasn't from a family member, but the things that, that your organization, other organizations put together, um, having something to open up and having a couple of snacks and uh, just you know, some, some fun things from back home, whether it's a magazine or a book or, oh, yeah. or something or a DVD to watch. is uh, it, mean, it means so much to us when we're over there. It's so true. And I, and I was telling Jason as well that not only are they getting their favorite snacks, but when their name is called and they go up and they get that package and they open it up, and not only is it what they want, but it represents home. It represents we're thinking about them in the USA, that we haven't forgotten about them. We know they're over there. And that right there means so much to them. And so that's another reason why it's important to keep sending them until the last one comes home, which I don't think it's going to be a very long time. That's right? okay. We'll keep sending them. Exactly. And, and right now I'm sending them everywhere from Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Africa, Romania, on ships, on the Marines on ships. So it's just... It, it's just never ending, and they're over there fighting ISIS. And it's again, it's so important to know that we're thinking about them, and of, of course, giving them what they want—the magical munchies, I call it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for doing yeah. that. And so that is primarily what the foundation does: is yeah. put together these care packages. So tell us a little about how you do that throughout the year, how you bring to the community to do this, and uh, especially how you're supporting our deployed folks out of Nellis Air Force Base, because Nellis is a good sized base, but it's not a huge Air Force base. But mm -hmm. we have 300 people currently deployed out of Nellis right we now. Do. So it's a rotation of 300 people, 300 men and women, I should say, and we can't forget about the women because mm -hmm. it's almost half women as well. And what 300 will go over there, overseas, either Iraq, Afghanistan, and then when those 300 come back, it's a rotation. The next 300, they go and they're deployed as well. So um, I make sure that I send them what they want, and when they come back, I have events uh, mostly uh, during Christmas, Thanksgiving, Memorial Day, and um, in September as well. And a lot of them come out and help us package the care packages. And it's so great because not just the men and women from Nullis that come out and help, but we have people come from all over the Las Vegas Valley. And when we have events, 
people come and call and they email me and they ask if they can volunteer and they all come out like an hour before to tape the boxes because I use the priority boxes. So they tape them, um, they go into the assembly line, they help me package them. And what I love about it so much is that people bring their children that are two years old up to their grandparents who are 90. Mm -hmm. you know, you're never too old and you're never too young, I think, to do community service. So it's really a family affair. And um, always afterwards, I'll, I'll get an email or they'll call me and they'll say, it was so much fun. When are you having the next one? So I encourage um, everybody to come on out across the valley and help. And it's just a great, rewarding experience to, to give back and to keep that awareness out there with the community that there's still so many men and women that are deployed um, and that they, they want the support. They need the support. And I like to keep that out there. And so the care package is wonderful. Well, you do more for the community. And, and you told me a wonderful story when we sat down for coffee the other day about a young woman in the post office. Right. And can you tell us her story and the kinds of things you're trying to do to help these young, these young women or, or even young men who are military spouse in the community? Absolutely. You know, I was at the post office, the Summerlin Post Office, and I was in my little area and I was boxing up care packages and I looked over and there was two other girls, I'm calling them girls because they were in their 20s, and I overheard what they were doing and it looked like they were packaging up something that looked like they might have somebody deployed. I interrupted their conversation and I said, are you happy to be packing this up for someone deployed? And she said, yes, my husband, he's deployed, he's a Marine, he's on a ship. And I said, well, first of all, you're using the wrong kind of box. And she laughed. And I told her what I did. I told her I had a nonprofit. And what we do is send care packages. And I showed her the right box. I showed her how to fill out the custom form. And I took that box. And we actually pay for it because that's what we do. That's what my foundation does is we pay for shipping. And um, she was just dumbfounded. She, mm -hmm. she just couldn't believe it. So we went up there, we paid for her box, and I said, anytime your husband wants anything, please call me. We'll send it. And, you know, she felt, you know, alone, you know, in this community. And I want people to know that they're not alone if they have a husband, spouse, brother, sister, friend deployed mm -hmm. to reach out to me, and I'll make sure that they can come to our events and customize their own package for their loved one. And um, that's what we like to do. And, and another reason, it's expensive for some people. And it can add up if you want to send your loved one or a friend a care package, even three a week. Um, that can add up to over, you know, over $100 a week. So that's what we like to step in and really help the community and know that they're not alone if they have someone deployed, that we're there to talk to and support them as well. And, and one of the reasons this story is so compelling is this is a young woman who grew up here. She did. But her husband when he's not deployed is stationed somewhere else yes. and so she's living here with her family and Correct. so she she doesn't have the squadron or the the unit back at the home base to help her out with those things and that's that's a way that your organization is really helping fill in some of the gaps nellis does a great job yeah. you know all of our support organizations do a great job but this is this is one more way you're really helping out and yes. i know you get a lot of support when you do your care package events but you need help throughout the year to do other things. How can someone who wants to get involved, in addition to coming and helping pack up care packages and mm -hmm. ship care packages, how can, how can someone who wants to get involved and stay involved be part of the organization? Well, to volunteer, sure. They can uh, come on out and help me throughout the year if they'd like to volunteer, if they want to give back. Um, they can reach me on, on our website, the Douglas J. Green Memorial Foundation, and leave me a message. Um, we welcome volunteers all year long to help us do correspondence, to work in the storage, to organize all the munchies, because um, we like to store a lot of munchies because we have to be ready for our events. But yeah, we always welcome all the volunteers all year mm -hmm. long, and that's always welcome. All right. Well, that's great. And, uh, you know, so so coming out, help the Douglas J. Green Memorial Foundation. Sunny, tell everyone how they can get a hold of you and the foundation and if you have any events coming up sure, in the yeah. next few weeks or few months. Absolutely. Well, we're partnering up with Inspirata, and that's going to be for, for President's Day. And we always do one in November uh, going towards the holidays. But if anybody would like to donate to our cause, meaning that the government, yes, does not pay for care packages. So we strictly pay 100% of the profits goes to the postage. So if anyone would like to donate, we're 
501c3, we're a write-off. They can go on and message me. Um, or if you have a company and you want to um, have a nonprofit to donate to over the holidays or work with us, we can partner up with a company and we can do all sorts of great things. So, yeah, they can go on www.douglasjgreen.org or they can find us on Facebook as well. That's great. Well, thank you for thank Doug's you. service. Thank you for your service and all the things you're doing for this community as well. So, thank you. Um, and also, <laughs> I'm he's, up a, a, little bit he's here. a veteran, so thank him for his service and sacrifice. Um, yeah, so uh, we are going to have you right back for our panel discussion. Just stay right there. Don't okay. move. Uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. We're going to bring Chris and Greg back. This is Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke. Stick around. We'll be right back.